When it comes to tornadoes and thunderstorms, WFMY News 2's meteorologists want to make sure that you are prepared. But Tran, the way those warnings are issued are changing or could be changing. That's certainly the way it looks and changing for the better, in my opinion, Julie. Last week, I got the chance to travel to Oklahoma and participate in a research project that was focused on developing a better severe weather warning system. In today's current warning system, Warnings are essentially a box that is drawn around a thunderstorm, and that's all the information that the public gets. You're in the warning, you're out of the warning. We want to make sure that more information is received, and so what we're doing is we're adding a layer of probabilities. And to explain that in short, it's basically the information that says that you could experience a tornado in your location and there's a 60% chance of that happening in the next 30 minutes. With this particular project, because it's such a dramatic shift compared to what the current weather service products are, we have to really dig deep to try to figure out how these new products will impact those that are the primary communicators of weather warning information to the general public. So we bring in emergency managers and we also bring in broadcast meteorologists in addition to the weather service forecasters and try to recreate the communication process that happens in a typical town, city across the U.S. And Tran was at that seminar mm -hmm. for several days, yeah. really talking about the change. Why is it necessary? I think the big thing is, as far as meteorologists are concerned, it's one thing for us to understand what's going on, but it's another thing for us to be able to communicate that effectively. And the most important job that we have is to let you know when bad weather is approaching your hometown, your neighborhood, and encourage you to take the action that you need to take to protect yourself and your family. Yeah, so you're working with like, like mm. a lot of the experts yeah. over there in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. This is the, the epicenter for tornadoes. Uh, what was the biggest takeaway that you had just getting to work with all these folks? I think it was really interesting to see everyone working together. One thing that a lot of folks might not know is when it comes to severe weather, what we do is just part of a collaboration between emergency management and also the meteorologists at the National Weather Service that actually issue the warnings. And so we had emergency managers from a couple of states there. We had a couple of uh, National Weather Service meteorologists that issue warnings that were yeah. there. And we also had a lot of social scientists there to help us kind of put all this together and let us know how can we message uh, how can you get the message out the best to let you know exactly what's going on? So this is something that's probably several years down the road, still in its infancy. But I do think that if we can kind of narrow down uh, these severe weather warnings to lower the false alarm rate, that certainly is going to be a good thing. And Tran, part of the change. Yeah. Very exciting. <laughs>